Good morning everybody and welcome to a rather windy and a rather wet Lake District. Now I've come out to Wasdale and I've come out to the Wasdale Head Inn and the lady behind the reception kindly let me stay behind the back of the pub or the inn. So I was going to pitch tent last night and stay on the campsite so I googled it, had a quick look and it looked like the perfect place to either attack Great Gable or Scarfell Pike. But I wasn't too sure about pitching my tent because it was pretty wild when I got here last night and the lady kindly said stay behind the back of the inn and just park your car up. So I stayed the night in my car and I didn't get too wet. In fact, I didn't get wet. It's a little bit of condensation, but I can't complain. But the weather last night was a little bit wild and the car was swaying so much and the wind was just like <laughs> So it's kind of kept me awake a little bit, but it's made me realize that maybe trying to get to Scarfell Pike or Great Gable this morning for sunrise is probably off the card. So I'm gonna take my time. I had a little bit of a lie-in. I kind of snoozed from four o'clock to five o'clock. So I'm gonna have a bit of breakfast, have a nice coffee, and then I shall go out in search for some photographic opportunities and grand adventure. Well, the wind hasn't really calmed down. In fact, it's exactly the same as what it was last night. So yes, I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna get any better throughout the day, but I've decided to go for the Wasdale Scarfell Pike circular route. It's an 11K trek up to Scarfell Pike, which is the highest mountain in the UK, I do believe. So I figured that might be quite a nice day. It's, uh, it's gonna be a bit of an adventurous one. The wind might be a bit of an issue with the microphone, so I do apologize if it's a little bit windy and a bit noisy in advance, but you know what? It's to be expected. You go up, you go off to the mountains when it's windy, it's gonna be windy, so. But you know what? I have no idea what photographic opportunities might present themselves. I have an opt to go for a sunrise shoot because it's just, as you can see, overcast, but there is a little bit of mist just covering the top parts of these mountains here, so it does look spectacular. So it's gonna be a great little morning, and yeah, an 11K loop shouldn't take too long. So yeah, hopefully we should get some opportunities, and you know, I've, the weather forecast suggests a little bits of sunshine breaking through the clouds. So I'm remaining optimistic. We might find something nice. something aren't they they're all perched perched they're all sat crouched next to the wall because the wind is coming in from was water i think that's how you pronounce it was water so they're all huddled up here avoiding the wind so yeah they're pretty smart aren't they but yeah absolutely beautiful scenery this morning it's really 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 nice it's just a shame that there's so much cloud cover 
but just behind me here to the left is this really beautiful uh, waterfall coming down in between obviously two mountains and it looks really really picturesque so I'm semi tempted to go up there and take a photo but I'm not going to bother I'm going to carry on going uh, it looks like there's a little bit of snow actually up on the top so I'm debating whether or not to change my route I may try and go to uh, not great gable great end so I'm going to see how the weather is as I get around here I've got a feeling the wind might be blocked by the mountain so I'm feeling slightly optimistic one has to remain optimistic so yeah we'll see it is uh, it's a little bit windy as I said and uh, it's a little bit nippy as well so I've got to keep moving, keep warm. Now I've just come across my first composition, I do apologise if it's really windy and you can't hear this. But basically there was a little bit of light just hitting the great end there, so I got my tripod out. I got my other camera out, the 24 to 200mm lens is on there, but it's not wide enough and I didn't have a chance to swap the lenses. But I had my camera set up here, I was hoping to have this, this wall with your eye up to great end when this rock here with the foreground element. I'll blast the image up in a minute, I, it's not that great, I, I should have got the 20mm lens on but I just didn't have the time and the light is changing so quickly that you just get your tripod set up, you can't go off, the light's gone, you take it off, put it back in the bag, boom, the light comes back out. But that's, I guess that's what you've got to do, you be patient and wait for the light, but I'm also trying to get up top as well, so swings and roundabouts, you know what I mean, that's how it is, so yeah, I'm going to keep on going up, but the scenery here is spectacular. Now I wish I could go back and take this image again because it just feels really unbalanced. I think because I was rushing around with the wind and just trying to get my first image that I, I didn't focus on balancing the image compositionally. So when I look at it now it just feels too heavy on the left with the wall leading up to the mountain and the rock on the right is a little bit distracting. This was a bit of a surprise image for me because when I turned around to go and get my camera I looked back down the valley and I could see this image right in front of me so I quickly snapped it with my actual Z6 and I was really happy with how it turned out. It's time to stop for five minutes. I'm about to get up onto the ridge line to head towards uh, the great end but it's really really windy and it's a little bit icy up there as well so I'm going to have to just really assess the situation when I just come over the top of this ridge because if it's too dangerous and too windy I'm going to have to turn back I can't risk the chance of being blown off the edge or slipping it's just not worth the risk but it's still really overcast but the views still are spectacular but I've not really had a chance to, to film because it's just been so windy trying to get up here but uh beautiful it's so beautiful I mean I'll just show you some of the views now just behind me so windy so yeah I'll have to assess the situation I don't have any ice, cr um, ice axes or crampons with me so uh, yeah I won't take any stupid risks I'll have to just turn back which you know would be unfortunate but it's better to, better to not take any risks and come back on another day and then yeah see what other opportunities there are available I just managed to get to the top of Great End, but the weather was absolutely fierce mild. So <laughs> I've had to just quickly get up and quickly get back down. There was no time to film. There was no time to take any photos. It's actually, it's too much. The weather's absolutely crazy at the minute. So I'm going to opt to get back down as quickly as I can. Uh, I've just spotted a couple of guys over there heading up to what Scarfell Pike, uh, up to Scarfell Pike in the distance. So I'm going to have a quick bite to eat and I'm going to head back down because it's just too windy and it's just too dangerous to be honest with you. And yeah, I'd rather just get back down to safe ground and do some photography in the lowlands so yep hopefully I'll get back down safe and sound. Now I was feeling really disappointed on the way back down because I was unable to film and I was unable to take any pictures but as I was walking back down off in the distance I spotted this little bit of a ridge line that was being highlighted by the light 
so I quickly got my tripod out. It was still super windy, but I was quite happy with how this image turned out. What a crazy morning that turned out to be. Now, I had to make a really serious decision when I got to the top of Great End because the weather was just, it was just too much. The wind was, it felt like it was like 60, 70 miles an hour and at times it was blowing me over. All the rocks on the top were covered in ice and there was a thin layer of snow. So the conditions were, uh, the conditions were dangerous. So I made a decision to actually turn around and come back down, which is so frustrating because I was so, so close to Scarfell Pike and I really want to tick that one off. But sometimes you have to make these decisions and you have to respect the terrain and you have to respect the conditions. Now, it's so easy to just think, oh, I'll just carry on, but it can be so dangerous up there. I mean, those, those conditions that I were in, they, I felt a little bit uncomfortable, so I made the right decision and I turned back and I came back down. I couldn't even film it was that windy and it was that chaotic up there. And at, at one point I was like, I need to get down. So I'm happy that I've survived and got down to the bottom, but I'm a little bit frustrated that I didn't get across to Scarfell Pike and I was so close. I was about a kilometer of that. I was about 900 meters away. And I was already at 910 meters high, so the elevation gain wasn't that bad. I just, I didn't want to risk it because I was on my own and if I made a small mistake, I could have quite easily broke my leg and there was not many people up there. So I've come back down to where the inn is, Wasdale Head Inn. So I'm gonna get some lunch because I'm starving and I'm gonna head down to Waswater and see if I can just wrap up this video, see if I can get any images. Because let's face it, I haven't got any, that many images today, but that's the, that's the look of the draw, isn't it, when you come to the Lake District? You know, unfortunately, the weather was wild. Fierce mild. Fierce wild, I'd say. It was crazy. Yeah, I'm still happy with the day. It's still fun. I saw people heading back up there as I was coming down. I was just thinking, you're crazy. But I'll head to Waswater and hopefully, maybe I might be able to get a couple of images there and then wrap up the video. But all in all, it's been a great day. So this is what my lunch looks like vegetable chipotle with chili with rice yummy mm. not bad actually quite spicy though mm. not bad i'm gonna try the fire pots next now as the day progressed, it just seemed to get windier and windier. So I did head down to Waswater afterwards and I did take a couple of images, but it's nothing that I'm really happy with. I did spot these rocks down in the bottom of the water leading onto the mountains in the background. So I quickly took an image and it's, it's not too bad, but the lighting wasn't great. And obviously I would have preferred to have had a little bit of milky motion in the water. Now I'm not too disappointed with this image, I just wish I had my polarizer with me because it would have helped take the glare off the water. But I could see off in the distance the little bit of rays of sunshine breaking through the clouds and just hitting the undulating hill in the background. It looked really nice so I got the long lens out and quickly took a snap and I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Now the final image was quite an unexpected one. I was driving out of Wasdale and I got up onto the tops and it started to snow. But as I got to the top, there was a little break in the clouds and it seemed to be hitting the mountain ridge line. So I pulled over quickly, jumped out and I took a pano shot, stuck them together when I got back. And I was pleasantly surprised with how this turned out. It's quite a okay image. And considering it was a bit of a disappointing day, I was quite happy with this and it was not too bad to wrap up the day.